you're in the blue. These two quickly to the centre of the ring. Top right looking to try and use that double jab. She tries to get in close. She will try to work her way in. Good jab there from Stonkuta. Just snapped the head back of Tobrek as she was coming forward. She'll need plenty of those because she'll try and work in behind that jab, Tobarek, and then throw those hooks. She's got decent technique. Stonkuta needs to get that lead left hand working. There we go, good jab. And then just moved off to the left hand side. Decent combination there from Ston Kuta as well. This is what she needs to do. Bagley did a good job, I thought, in the semi finals. Good left hand there from Toborek. She gave Toborek plenty, hit her with plenty. But she's just coming off second best. Nice right hand there from Ston Kuta. Right from Toborek was just half caught on the gloves. Looking for an uppercut there, Ston Kuta. Good to see her try and mix it up. And this is the kind of fight you get with Toborek. Plenty of punches being thrown because there's not really any other way that it can go. She's going to come to you, so to keep her off, you've got to keep your hands busy. And you know she will. Good left hand there from Toborek. Stone Kuta lands with a little left. She's done plenty of decent work herself in this opening round. Clean shots that have been landed. It's been pretty even. Toborek's on the front foot, rolling forward most of the time. But what you're looking for, what you're always looking for, is what lands. And there's not been a lot in it on that front. There's a cheeky little right hand again there. And another one from Stone Kuta, left down the middle from Toborek. Into the final minute, deep into the final minute. Good combination there from Ston Kuta. Well, the referee had said break there, but Ston Kuta didn't hear her. I didn't hear her either. Into the last 20 seconds. Not been a lot in this opening round. Not much at all. Short little left hand there from Ston Kuta, and again makes contact with the jab, and again with a harder left hand. Looks for the uppercut, catches Tobrek on the chin, and this is a blue corner round, I would say. She's rolling forward, the red corner, Tobrek there. She did have her successes, but Ston Kuta, I thought, picked her punches well in that opening round. I thought she picked them well, and the greater percentage of cleaner shots, I thought, came from the blue corner there. We'll see what the the judges think about it and two of them go that way the other three go for Toborek so that 3-2 split which as we know can be very very valuable goes in Toborek's direction wasn't a lot in the round Toborek was rolling forward on the front foot through plenty I think Stonkut is maybe a little bit unlucky to come out on the on the wrong side of that one the split score didn't come as a great surprise Good to watch, though. Good stuff from both of them. So, Stonkuta, Lithuania in the blue. Tobrak, Poland in the red. Tobrak taking that opening round 3-2 with the judges. Tobrek with the combination there. And they're always at this kind of distance, right on top of each other, really. Left hand from Ston Kuta. Ston Kuta had the better of that exchange as Tobrek was coming forward. It's the constant pressure from the Polish fighter. Ston Kuta has been up to the job so far. 
It hasn't really given too much ground either. Tom Tobrek is coming forward, but Stonkuta is holding those feet. Right cross there from Stonkuta wasn't far away at all. Midway through round two, so the halfway point of the fight. This is our final fight of day one of our finals at this 12th edition of the Women's World Championships. The second to be held in Turkey in 2002. It was down in Antalya on the Aegean coast. Tobrek with some good work there, left followed by a right, but then a combination from Stonkuta. Been so many punches thrown in this fight, and so many of them have been accurate. They haven't all landed absolutely clean, but almost all of them have hit something. Whether it's guard, whether it's gloves, shoulder. These two have not missed with much at all. Looking for the uppercut there, Stonkuta didn't quite manage to land it. Nice combination there, landed the left hand followed by the right uppercut. And she needs this second round, Stonkuta at least. She needs the majority of the score. She needs to go into the third and final round with a chance, basically. Not needing 10 eights is what I mean when I say with a chance. You still have a chance if you need 10 eights, but she needs to level up enough of those scores to 19-19 to be in with a shot, which means three of them. And it's been similar to the to the first round, that, that second round. I felt Stone Cooter again did the did the better work in that, that second round. The cleaner punching of the two. Tobrek kept coming forward as she did in that first three minutes, but Stone Cooter I feel should get the the reward in that second round. I do think she deserves it, and she does get it. Ten nines across the board there. And the way that they have worked out with the scoring those first two rounds. So Stonkuta has got two cards of 20 points to 18 in her favour. So those two judges that gave her the first round have given her the second round as well. No great surprise there. So she's got those two in her pocket. The other three cards are 19-19. So it's Toborek now who's got the work to do. She needs all three of them. All three of those drawn cards. Don Kuta needs one. So final round of the day. Toborek, Poland in the red, Stonkuta Lithuania in the blue, Toborek looking to try and use that jab, she's landed some good good shots but Stonkuta has, has out punched her so far anyway, a couple of jabs there from Stonkuta, just backing up a little bit in this third round, just increasing that gap between the two of them by a couple of feet, not so much anymore, looking to use that jab, Left hand on the inside. Tobrek isn't the most difficult fighter in the world to hit. Stonkuta with a three punch combination there, finishing with the uppercut, and again there. And she's really putting it on Tobrek here. The head just bouncing around there as the gloves of Stonkuta find the target again and again. Uppercut there from Stonkuta. Good variety. Turns around that front foot. And this is a tremendous 30 or 40 seconds she's had there, really is. I thought Jessica Bagley put up a, a good, good fight against Toborek yesterday, just maybe doesn't quite have the dig that Stonkuta has. Maybe not quite a variety either, but she landed on Toborek a fair amount. Toborek with a head snap back there, and that is going to be a standing count, and... This is an impressive finishing round from Stonkuta, who I think has got more left in the tank here. Tobrek is chasing this. 
Comes straight back across the ring and just fires that one, two. But there's that uppercut again. I haven't seen too many uppercuts thrown over the last couple of days, actually. And Stone Kuta has probably thrown more in this fight than I've seen in all the other fights I've commentated on, put together over the last two days of action. And it's really worked for her as well. Nice combination and then steps off to the left hand side. That's the key thing. When she throws those punches, she moves off the back of it, either rolls out, steps off to the left hand side, looks for the uppercut. And that's the difference between them, really, because that's what Tobrek doesn't do. She lets her hands go and kind of stays where she is. So she's there to be to be countered. But still she comes forward. Titanic effort this from Tobarek, but Ston Kuta has boxed really, really well here. And there goes the bell, and that's going to be a win for the for the blue corner. That was a comprehensive win in that final round, so she'll get this by unanimous decision. Those three scores of 19-19 are going to go in her direction. They can't not. And that will be Lithuania on the board. So we'll have five different nations represented on the gold medal table after six fights, after six finals. And that is always good to see. Well, terrific performance that from Stonkuta. Really was 